Hi, welcome to Alleviate Dry Eye, where you can learn to treat your eyes like it's the only pair you'll ever have. I'm Dr. Pam Terrio. Thanks for joining me today where we're going to debunk three myths of wearing mascara. So over the past couple of weeks, I've been talking a lot about eye makeup and mascara because it's important to me that you take care of your eyes so that they don't get dry and have problems as we age. And so we women like to wear makeup because we like the way it makes us look. And sometimes when I bring up makeup in the exam room, it's a very touchy subject. Um, women don't want to be told that they can't wear their mascara that they've worn for years or any of their makeup for that matter. People are very loyal to the brands that have served them for years and years. And so I get a lot of pushback and arguments from my patients when I bring up the subject of using a safer cosmetic. So the reason that I am so passionate about this is women use nine to 12 different products on our faces every single day between moisturizers, foundations, cleansers, mascara, eyeliners, eyeshadows, lip gloss, lip liner, lip stain, um, blush, that's not even talking about our hair products, shampoos, conditioners, mousses, gels, foundations, whatever. We are constantly putting products on our bodies to keep our beauty. And the eyelids are the thinnest skin in the body. So it, whatever we are putting on our eyelids has the greatest possibility of getting into our bloodstream. And when we're using products that aren't healthy, we are causing problems not only in our eyes and our faces, but all over our bodies. So that is why I'm so passionate about it. And I've got some notes over here I'm gonna to refer to as we go along. So I'm gonna debunk three myths of mascara because I want to encourage you ladies to change your mascara. Did you know that we American women, we put on mascara nine times a week? That's more than once a day, crazy pants. So you're putting it on before you go to work and then you're putting it on again before you go out at night. Um, we wear a lot of mascara. I, that doesn't even count if how many coats you put on at one time, but this is actual applications of mascara. So these are the three things that women say to me when I try to encourage them to switch their mascara brands. Number one is, well, I've never had a problem with it before, so it couldn't be bad for me. So this I hear all the time. You know, you never have a problem with your contact lenses until you get an infection. You've never broken an arm until you fall off your bike. Nothing bad ever happens until it happens. And then you can't say it wasn't because of uh, smoking cigarettes didn't cause your cancer. They are related. So dry eye is related to the toxins of your eye makeup. It's proven, we know that the toxins can do damage to the structures in your eyes and cause these problems. So just because you've never had a problem with your mascara before that you've worn for the past 20 years, I'm so sorry, ladies, it's still time to change. Um, and so one of the reasons is that mascara companies, beauty companies in general in the US are very unregulated. There are only 11 ingredients that are banned from our beauty products in the US. Whereas in Europe, it's 1,100 that are banned. So we need to be more cognizant of looking at the ingredients that we're putting on our lids because the government is not keeping them from getting into our products. So the other thing that can happen is that even though you've been wearing a product for years and years and years, it can change ingredients without telling you. Of course, I mean, they'll put the ingredients on the label, but there may be a different formulation where they raise the amount of one ingredient over another, um, and you wouldn't know that by looking at the ingredient list. So something that served you well for years and suddenly has stopped serving you well, maybe because not the ingredients have changed, but the level of the ingredients have changed. The next myth that I get all the time is that it must be great because it's a reputable brand, it's expensive, I buy it at the department store, um, but expensive is one I hear a lot. Oh, I wear a very expensive brand, it's very good. Um, I'm sorry to tell you that no matter how much you paid for it, it may have expensive ingredients, but those expensive ingredients could still be toxic. So there's no significant correlation between price 
and reduce toxicity. Um, the last one that I get a lot is, oh, my mascara is all natural. It's organic. It says it's ophthalmologist approved on the label. What do you mean it's not okay? So these labels can be placed on cosmetics for whatever reason. I mean, you've seen for sure uh, a bag of candy with a fat-free label on it, right? Just because your Jolly Ranchers are fat-free doesn't mean that they're not going to make you fat. Um, I think we all understand that one. So just because a product is organic doesn't mean that those organic ingredients are good for your eyes. So that's where the labeling comes in where they put something that you think sounds really great on the label but indeed um, it can cause irritation um, and chemical buildup over time even all natural ingredients could maybe be difficult to remove from the front surface of your lids and then you have an accumulation of those products in your eyes later so there's two ways to know for sure um, whether or not that product that you're using is good for you. And the first way is to download a guide I have that has 26 ingredients that are toxic to the ocular surface. You can download that guide and then go through the ingredients on your makeup products and find out if they are included in your products. The second way is to go to the ewg.org, the environmentalworkinggroup.org, and they have something called the Skin deep database and you can just plug in the name of your product that you love and find out what the score is as far as toxicity goes. So that one's a fun website to check out. I wanted to take a deep dive into a couple of the brands that patients bring up to me a lot. So the first is Estee Lauder. Um, if you want to see this in action, check out my blog this week. It's at www.pamterio.com forward slash blog forward slash 63. That's the blog this week. And you can see all the wonderful things that they say about their formulation. Um, it's 10 hour wear, smudge proof, flake proof. It sounds fabulous. It has a mousse light base to the mascara, so it's gonna go on smooth. And it has fibers in it that makes your lashes look like they have extensions. So it all found it sounds very glamorous until you get to the ingredients where you will find paraffin and sodium laureth sulfate, which um, can lead to non, non reproductive organ toxicity and cause irritation to your skin, eyes, and lungs. Fun. Then I, I did put a flashback um, mascara here. In high school and college, I loved Maybelline mascara, I'm sure. Some of you other ladies in my age group used that pink tube with the green lid. Remember that one? It was very popular back then. Um, and that was my personal favorite because it made my lashes so dark, dark, dark. I just loved it. Well, in the ingredient list, there is mica, which can cause high bioaccumulation in the tissues. So it's difficult to get that mica out of your tissues. Um, it has butylene glycol, which again can cause irritation to your skin, eyes, and lungs. It has acetyl alcohol. Hello, alcohol near your eyes? That sounds like an irritant to me. So I'm gonna contrast this, those mascaras that maybe you have worn yourself and you've loved. And I'm gonna share with you my two new favorites. So um, in the last blog, I've been talking a lot about Eyes are the story. This is a new makeup brand um, that was put out by a team of eye doctors and they have done a fabulous job of making sure that everything in the ingredient list is not toxic to the ocular surface. It's completely safe. And their mascara is this guy right here. It's a little tube of mascara. You get a, a pack of three of these mascaras so that you can use them regularly throw them out so that it goes on really nicely. It's nice and dark um, and smooth, lasts all day. Um, and so I love their Eye Proof Mascara is the name of it from Eyes of the Story. Now, if you go to eyesofthestory.com, you can purchase these products with the code wink wink will get you 20% off your first purchase. So I hope you love them. And the second is one that I've been talking about for years now is the Beauty Counter Volumizing Mascara. 
this was the first safe mascara that I fell in love with. I've tried a bunch and a lot of them flake off at the end of the day. You can like peel them off with your fingertips and they, they flake and you get little black snowflakes on the bottom of your little, um, cheeks here. And so I didn't like those. This one I absolutely love. I've been using this for years and I think it's made my, my eyelashes grow longer and stronger um, because it has some awesome ingredients um, that moisturize your lashes while you're wearing them. So um, there you have it. My two favorites, Beauty Counter and Eyes of the Story Mascara. These will serve you well, ladies. Um, they may not be the least expensive mascara you've ever seen, but they won't be the most expensive one either. And the most important part is that they will be healthy for your eyes. So we have to learn how to take care of our eyes today so that our vision will last a lifetime. Your vision is priceless. Where would you be without it? We need to use our vision all day, every day. So it's important to take care of our eyes. Thanks so much for joining me. Again, if you would like to see this blog in action, pamterio.com forward slash blog forward slash 63. Or if you would like to download my makeup remover guide, you can get that at pamterio.com forward slash makeup remover. Thanks so much for joining me this week. Bye for now.